Hello, Algebra 2 students. Um, to get, today, we're going to be covering the Unit 6 activity. There's actually two Unit 6 activities. So this is actually covering the first one. Um, that's going over um, exponential expressions and equations. So if you're here for the other activity, I already made a video for that. And it should be in the Google Classroom just below this one. Um, so yes. So this is the, the first Unit 6 uh, activity. Hope that makes sense. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, present my screen, and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the activity here. So this one's talking about, and you could kind of just go to page five here, where we really just work on the on the uh, questions. All right. So. Um, in this activity, you will formulate and solve an exponential equation that models a real-world situation. Emma doesn't have experience using credit cards. In fact, she just got her first one. She is also about to start her first year of college. She uses her new credit card to purchase textbooks for her class. The total comes out to $300. These are the terms of the credit card. It has a 15% annual interest rate. The interest is compounded monthly and the card has zero minimum payments for the first four years it is active. The expression that models this situation is P parentheses one plus R over N parentheses NT, where P is the, represents the initial or principal balance. R represents the interest rate, T represents the time in years, and N represents the number of times the interest is compounded per year. Okay, so let, let's talk about this for a second. P is the principal. That's the amount um, she initially has on the credit card. So the initial amount that she, the initial amount of debt on the credit card. Um, R is the interest rate. So in our case, the annual interest rate says fifteen percent. So that's going to be our R. N is the number of compoundings in a year. So the number of times the interest is compounded. So notice it said it doesn't tell you that right um, just up front, but it says it's compounded monthly. So since it's compounded monthly, the number of compoundings in a year would be 12 because there's 12 um, months in a year. And the um, T is time. So T is however many years. So in our case, we want to identify P, R, N in the expression based on Emma's, Emma's situation, then substitute those values into the formula to write a simplified exponential expression in terms of time. So in our case, we know what P is, right? P is the initial amount that she owes. So in our case, that's going to be P equals 300. So she initially uh, borrows $300 from the credit card company, okay? Now, by the way, um, if, you, if you're using a credit card, and this is my, um, public service announcement. If you're using a credit card, pay off the entire thing every month. Do not leave a balance on your credit card because the interest rate will make it so you just owe more the next month. Now they will tell you, um, let's say you owe them 300, the credit card company will say, oh, this month, just pay us 20. Well, that's not a good idea. You should just pay off the entire amount that you owe and that way you don't gain interest. If you just make the minimum payment or you just pay off part of it at a time, um, you're gonna end up paying a lot more in the long run. So if you can pay off your debts, always pay them off, especially if there's large interest rates involved. Now, with that being said, her interest rate is 15%. So um, instead, we're gonna write it as a decimal, so 0.15. The N is the number of compoundings in a year. Again, that's 12. Now let's go ahead and write the expression, plugging in all this stuff. So we're gonna use this expression here. And so in our case, our P is 300 and it's times one plus, and then it's going to be a fraction. So on, there's a fraction tool right here and it's R over N. So that's 0.15 over, over N, which is 12. The n comes into play out here as well to the power of n times t. So that's going to be 12 
times t. And t is time. Um, now we could also rewrite this instead of 1 plus 0.15 over 12. Let's go ahead and figure out what that is. So on our calculators, we'll do 0.15 divided by 12. So that's 0 0.0125. And we're going to add that plus 1. So that's going to be 1.0125. And again, it's to the power of 12 times t. So we'll just call it 12 and there you go, there's the expression. Now, we're gonna use this expression in the next problem, and you'll see here. Since the card has zero minimum payments for the first for four years it is active, Emma wonders how much it will cost her if she doesn't pay off the $300 balance until after college. How much will she owe in four years? So here she's not making any payments uh, for four years, and she's just letting the credit card just sit there with the $300 balance. So how, how bad, how much debt will she accrue? Um, so in four years, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this expression here and we're gonna replace T, replace time with four because that's gonna be four years. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna grab this equation here and we're gonna replace T with four. So bring it over to my whiteboard here. And by the way, everything I write, you should be writing. This will help you understand the material much better, okay? But in this case, we're replacing T with 4. So it's going to be 300 times 1.0125 to the power of, and then this is 12 times 4, replacing the T with 4. So what do we do first? Well, we would do the exponent first. So we want to do 12 times 4, so that's 48. Now we want to do... 1.0125 to the power of 48. 1.0125 to the power of 48. So that's 1.81535. <clears throat> so we got 300 times 1.81535. Let's go to that many decimal places. And that'll equal, so times 300 on my calculator, $544.61. So this is how much she will owe at the end of four years. If she doesn't make any payments, this is how much she'll owe at the end of four years. So that $300 initially, how much she uh, used the credit card, now she owes $544.61. So you can see what not paying her debt has led to. Okay. So that was $544. It says round to the nearest dollar, so I'm going to say $45. <clears throat> Next one. Emma also wonders how long it will take her a balance of $300 to reach $450. Assuming she doesn't make any payments uh, toward it, write the equation to represent the situation and solve using the inverse relationship between exponential and logarithmic expressions. So we're going to be using that same um, expression we had before, but this time we're going to set it equal to 450. So we want to know when does this equal 450? So I'm going to erase the rest of this here. And we're basically going to solve for t. We want to know how much time it will take for her balance to reach 450. So the first step we're going to do is divide both sides by 300. Divide by 300 both sides of the equation. So that'll give you 1.0125 to the power of 12t equals, now over here, 450 divided by 30 gives you 1.5. Okay. Now, hopefully you remember from the um, lessons that we were doing before, um, the rest of this unit, that in order to get to an exponential, you're going to have to use a logarithm. So we're going to use a logarithm on both sides of this equation so you can bring the exponential down into front. So 
what we're going to do is log both sides. And we'll just use log base 10, but if you use uh, ln, that's fine as well. And this side, log of 1.0125. So you have to log both sides. Now that allows you to bring this down into the front. So I'm going to put this 12t in front. So it's 12t times log of 1.0125. Okay. <clears throat> now I can divide both sides of this equation. To get t by itself, I can divide by 12 times log of 1.0125. We're dividing by both the 12 to cancel that and the log here to cancel that, leaving you with t all by itself on the right side, which is what you want. Now, the left side, we have to divide by the same thing. So we're going to divide by 12 times log of 1.0125. Now, when you're plugging this in the calculator, make sure you're closing parentheses where you need to. So um, I would put this whole thing in parentheses down here. If you type it just like this with all the parentheses and everything, it should work out. So you would do log parentheses 1.5, close that parentheses there, divided by parentheses 12 times log parentheses 1.0125, and then close both those parentheses like that. Okay. <clears throat> so log 1.5 divided by, I'm going to do parentheses, 12 times log 1.0125, and close both those parentheses there. So that'll give us 2.72 years. So 2.72 years after that amount of time, she'll owe $450 on her credit card. So if she doesn't make any payments, uh, after 2.72 years, she'll owe 450. Um, Brown Center is 10th, so that's the uh, first decimal place. So we'll just say 2.7. <clears throat> Emma notices that since her credit card balance compounds monthly, she is charged more than 15% of her initial loan amount in the interest each year. She wants to know how much she would pay if the card were compounded annually at a rate of 15%. Which expression could Emma use to evaluate her balance with an annual compounding interest? So this time we're saying, okay, well, what if it's not compounded monthly? What if it's just 15% and it's compounded at the end of the year? So uh, what would that look like? So we're gonna use the same equation, P parentheses, one plus R over N, to the power of nt. So we're going to use that again, but this time the principle is the same. So that's still 300. Let me go ahead and um, I'm going to grab this here. Okay. <clears throat> and clear that. So in this case, the p is the same. The principle, the amount she borrows is the same. That's 300. So that's p. Um, the interest rate is still 15%, but we write it as a decimal, so 0.15. And, but this time N, since it's only compounded every, uh, once a year, so N is going to be one in this case. So this expression will look like this, 300, one plus 0.15 over one, because our N is one. So the power of 1 times t, well, 1 times t, we'll just write that as t. 0. 0.15 divided by 1, well, that's just 0. 0.15, so we don't really need to put that over 1. So adding the 1 plus the 0. 0.15, that's going to be 300 times 1.15 to the power of t. And that's the expression there. So if it's only compounded uh, once per year at the end of each year, basically, 
Um, there, n is one, and it basically doesn't do anything in this situation. Okay, make sure you click the right one. There you go. <clears throat> How would the situation change if the interest on Emma's credit card were compounded annually rather than monthly? And she didn't make any payments toward the balance. Select the correct answer from each drop down menu. So after four years, Emma would owe approximately how much? So it's, and we're basically using this one here, and it's not compounded um, monthly. So in this case, we want to say, how much would she owe at the end of four years? So here's what you're going to do it's going to be 300 times 1.15 to the power of four. Okay. So I want you to go ahead and, um, and see if you could solve that one on your own. Okay. So you'll do the 1.15 to the power of four first, and then multiply by 300 to get your answer. Okay. And then the last one, it would take around blank years for her balance to increase from 300 to 450. So here we're using that same equation. But we're saying 450. It's similar to the to the problem we done before. Um, 300, 1.15 to the power of t. So this time we're trying to figure out how much time it takes for her to reach a balance of 450 if she makes no payments. So the first step: divide both sides by 300. We did this already with the other example. So that would give you 1.5 here. This cancels. And that gives us 1.15 to the power of t on the right side. Now again, to get at an exponential, you're going to want to use the logarithm both sides. So log both sides. This allows you to bring the t down in front. So we have log of 1.5 equals, and this t comes down, so that's t times log of 1.15. <clears throat> to get t by itself, divide both sides by this log. Okay, <clears throat> so that'll give us t by itself over here. Um, so I want you to go ahead and put that in the calculator. Make sure you do so carefully and figure out how much time it's going to take for her to reach a balance of 450 in this scenario. Okay, and then go ahead and put that answer right here. All right, well, I hope that made sense. I hope you're able to uh, get through it. Let me stop presenting here. And, um, and that was it. Pretty easy, right? Hopefully that didn't take you too long. Um, I think this only, this video is like, what, 20, 25 minutes. Um, <clears throat> and uh, good luck with the rest of the unit, and I will see you next time. Take care.